anointing, the anointing of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, in the name of God, in the name of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. So the right government is those that assume, the assumers, they assume something is, um, is in fact the dog who becomes the cat. Way, yippee, hooray, that's where I belong in the right government. The left government, however, which is not conservative, it is it calls itself a liberal, it calls itself uh, it calls itself false democracy, the left government. It calls itself a fascist government, a socialist. Um, they usually antichrists, not all of them, but majority of them. Um, which is the left government where I'm, I'm leaving. As I've been with them long enough on social media and all they've, all they've done is cheat on me, mock me, insult me, be, be the worst hypocrite, use and abuse me. So I'm leaving, I'm turning around, I'm turning away. I'm asking God to do the same because God is not going to be the father to the bitches and the bastards of society. They are fatherless. They've rejected Jesus who offered to share the Heavenly Father with them. They rejected it. So it, this is where the satanic government is coming from. The central government the FBI, um, they're all coming from the left government. I don't, not all FBI's, but the majority of them. So what's going to be? What's going to happen to them when God turns around? They're going to be cut to pieces. They're going to be scattered. Uh, I don't know how long that will happen. It may happen immediately. Compared to the right government, what will happen to them when God says you're a no people? When when will you start behaving as real people? So God will put them to the test and put them in the rubbish and make them feel like rubbish and make their private their, their privacy will be invaded um they will be that everything will be too much for them prob too many problems overwhelmed this is the far right government when God comes to put them to the test, will they survive God's anger? Because many of them will be executed or to the point of near-death experience. Will they survive God's anger? Because they've done as much evil or even more evil. They're, they're definitely more evil compared to the left government. Because they knew of the Holy Spirit, they actually knew. And they betrayed Jesus Christ. So it's like comparing the Sadducees and the Pharisees. So 
so I've looked at the two governments the left where they are categorized sharing the animal curse which is the I have said both of the sides so looking at the right side it is the dog cat um, and God wants to execute their dogs in other words the south personality in the personality compass such as Diane Turner who did a basic explanation and biologically proven it's not an occult of what basically a self personality is so it's just a simple analysis of human nature um, by, by a statistic actually but it's not 100% accurate it's still still being studied so they they are stuck in the south where they don't like the south they they the far right government only looks at the north so this is where witchcraft comes in and president donald trump, trump is guilty of that uh, because he favoured the far north personality. Uh, so it's very wicked. It's very wicked because uh, in order to have that completeness, you need to have a good dog is a dead dog. In order to have that completeness, you need to have a holy type of dog, a holy type of cat. So cat actually holds all the moths and all the sheep. And the dog actually holds all the butterflies and all the goats. Um, so even though they're supposed to be holy cats and unholy dogs in the far right government, those who have died for their sins in the far right government are pardoned and they never sin again as in my instance I can say I'm without sin except for one sin which is the one when I die so on the day that I die would be my last condemnation from Jesus because I know that Jesus has already forgiven me 99% of my sins and once I'm free from my sin I'm free indeed so that's the case on the far right government um, not that I am self-righteous I know I suffered for my truth as well and not that I am perfect because I know what it means to receive God's forgiveness. Most people don't know when whether they're forgiven or not. And I know, but I'm not going to reveal this in this video. It's a different video. So people will ask me, why do you look at, look at your notes and your books?